I particularly like the comment here to one of my posts on YouTube, and it says, I like the emphasis on minimal equipment, sticking to calisthenics. Well, me too. Actually, when I began calisthenics, uh, my whole training was built around very minimalist approach, only fundamental calisthenics exercises. And on occasion, I did some weighted calisthenics because I and my friends had some weight vests and we used them from time to time. But that was not the reason why we were able to build our physiques or mine in, in, in this case. Uh, 90% of it was pure calisthenics, minimalist approach. And I like that very much. However, I don't feel the same today than years, maybe later. Because back then I was 20 plus something, now I'm 33. Uh, I didn't have the experience and the knowledge I have today. So right now, just one example, if I look to shoulders and I see how many muscles are around the scapula, it's pretty hard to recruit them and train them properly or equally as we train the delts and the biceps or the lats, for instance. But so doing too much minimalist training might, just might, not necessarily uh, develop some imbalances. So I found with experience and knowledge and that's why I use resistance bands, because I can uh, particularly target those rotator cuff muscles a lot better. And I can spice up my, my training a little bit. I'm tired of, of doing only pull-ups for training my posterior chain. So I like using some rubber bands. Then again, I'm tired of doing only push-up variations, decline, incline, diamonds, and regular push-ups or dips. So I try to bring again some variety, like plyometric work, plyometric push-ups, plyometric dips. Then I do some weighted dips and uh, I use rubber bands for some flies, reverse from some chest flies, you see. And this is how you can train pretty minimally, but at the same time, it's more well-rounded. Where I think minimalist approach usually is best is for those very busy persons who just want to make a quick workout, very intense, and that's it. And this makes a lot of sense because today, if I want to train my upper body, I want to train push-ups only because I need another session to train my pull-up chain, right? So it's about movement and it's a com it should be complementary. So I want to go there and do dips, push-ups and pull-ups. And this is how I can, in a, in a single workout, once a week, do an upper body complete uh, workout. And I can come a second time and do some rubber bands for the upper body or shoulders, for instance, more specifically. And for the legs, it's the same. 